Talukoy po nagsasagawa ng press conference sa tahanan ni Sultan Jamalul Kiram sa Taguig. Pakinggan po natin. Uh, concerning uh, matters like that, then it has to be uh, settled legally. But I don't think that uh, it has since the since Sultan Jamalul Kiram is only uh, hearing, hearing the call of the Datu Raja Muda on uh, what steps can be taken positively during this tunnel. Would you allow it? No, we will not allow that. We will fight them in court. In the first place, there is no extradition treaty between the Philippines and Malaysia. But uh, Malaysia would like to uh, uh, maybe do some uh, uh, working pressure to have the extradition. Now that means that Malaysia wanted its municipal wanted even its municipal law to be implemented in the Philippines. Uh, are you saying that your uh, followers of the United will be coming back in Malaysia at this point this also because of your faith? The future will tell. We will discuss on that uh, uh, according to the mandates of the United Nations. As per hit count ni Dato Raja Muda, sampuho ang namatay Sampuho ang nahuli, apat ang <coughs> ang injured. Ibig sabihin, 24 ho, lahat-lahat. <coughs> Sir, Kuya Abe, what have we gained with this, uh, with this stand of ours? Now that we're calling for unilateral ceasefire, does it mean that we already have achieved our objective? Well, uh, according to His Royal Highness Sultan Jamal Al-Kiram III, The achievement that the Sultanate of Sulu or the group of the Dato Raja Muda obtained during the last few days cannot compare how Sultan Jamal Kiram III valued the 10 lives of those who were martyred during the March 1st Friday massacre. At po ang bahagi ng press conference ng kampo ng mga Kiram sa tagig sa pangunguna ng tagapagsalita ng mga Kiram at mismong si Sultan Jamalul Kiram. Binabanggit niya kung ilan na yung uh, mga to o yung uh, kabuuan ng uh, mga namatay sa kampo ng mga Kiram. Ang binabanggit niya ay uh, labindalawang patay kabilang narito uh, iba pa rito yung sampung nahuli ng Malaysian forces.